The number of homicides has decreased, but local leaders tell me to keep it that way, our youth are in need of a positive outlet. I'm AJ Douglas, your neighbor reporter in Bainbridge, talking to a man that says he turned his life around thanks to the right guidance. And I used to be doing a lot of stuff, so it's like, he saved me. I was like, I got to go. <laughs> That's Markevious Osborne, a former mentee in the Lehman Brotherhood Second Chance Outreach Center. Osborne is 32 years old now, but joined the mentorship program when he was 15. He explains how Pastor Adrian Bivens spoke up for him during his younger years. After I go to court or do whatever I got to do, it's going to be the stipulation. He stay out of trouble. He got to come up here with me and we be good. You know what I'm saying? Osborne is talking about how Pastor Bivens spoke up for him when he once led a life of petty crimes like shoplifting. The mentorship group leader has worked to form partnerships with local law enforcement, the district attorney's office, and other state officials to speak up for a population of young men in need of a second chance. The pastor speaks up for those within the mentorship program in many ways, whether it's by writing a letter to the Georgia State Board of Pardons and Parolees or asking a judge to reduce a sentence under special conditions. Pastor Bivens' group meets regularly for check-ins to make sure members stay out of trouble by guiding them on a pathway to a productive life free of crime. I'll get the young men or whatever to Turn their life around before it's too late. Bivens tells me the organization offers mentorship to young boys from the age of seven until they're 25 years old. Bivens says he works to make sure valuable lessons are learned. I don't want to just throw the case out. If the case is thrown out, they would not learn a lesson. They're going to let me do the same thing to get a worse. Past mentees have gone on to earn college degrees, play professional sports, or join the military. Osborne currently works as an entrepreneur in the entertainment industry. I asked Osborne, what would he do if he hadn't received mentorship? He says, I know too. I know too, man. Like just being real. Bivin says the group is searching for a building to hold group meetings for mentorship. He hopes to convert his garage into a safe space for troubled youth in need of sleep, as well as purchase a new vehicle to transport mentees to fellowship events. In Bainbridge, I'm AJ Douglas for ABC 27.